Amanda Squad. Today we're going to be doing some tie-dye. So for this you will need your tie-dye colors. So they usually come with only the powder or the pigment and you have to add water to make the dye. You'll also need some rubber bands. I have a lot right here. Some gloves and an apron. You really can use anything. We have found these plastic ones which work fine and you'll need also a bucket of water and some white stuff to color. So let's get started. I have some clothing here that it's not very that exciting. It's all white. For these, I am going to be doing the sweet stripes, which is a technique in tie-dye, which is like there's a lot of like stripes or lines on your shirt. I'm going to start by folding and putting on my rubber band. Fold them in half. I am going to be folding it in the middle and then adding more lines. Now I'm going to take my rubber bands and <laughs> put them into sections so they're all tied up. So now I finished to tie all my rubber bands around my shorts we are going to be putting all of our colors but i'm going to be putting on my apron so now i'm all dressed up so we're gonna take our little rubber banded clothing and we're gonna dunk it into the water so dunk it in got all of it soaked and then bring it out and get all rinse out all the excess water and this is to like get the color to soak in better let's finally add all the colors so i'm gonna do this kind of in sections i'm going to start with um this hot pink right here and i'm gonna do this small little section now adding this hot pink and you don't want to mix them up too much or less you'll come out with a brown so I'm gonna flip it over here my pink kind of went through but I can fix that and I am going to do the yellow gonna fill this all with yellow so this is turning orange right here but the rest pretty good so I'm gonna put this light green all right here flip it over and do it okay I think that should be pretty good I'm gonna open it up a little bit and put it in there so then there's not like a whole section just white okay this is really pretty I love it and then we're gonna do this dark blue here, here. Let's get it all soaked in. And now my final color is gonna be this purple. Okay, let's add it on. So now I put my shorts into an airtight bag. You can also use a Ziploc bag. I'm just going to roll it up a little bit and let it sit for 24 hours. And now I'm going to move on to this little undershirt thing. And I'm going to do the swirl for this one. So I'm going to pinch the middle and twirl and twirl and twirl and twirl some more until it's into a spiral so now i put a rubber band down the middle of this little cinnamon roll um thing or spiral and i'm going to put another one 
the other way. Like that. And divide it as much times as you can. So I'm gonna add the colors now. So I am going to do pretty much basic colors. So I'm gonna do some blues and uh, purple and pink. Let your tie-dye rest overnight in an airtight bag, then hand wash it until the color stops bleeding. Dry it and you're done. I finished mine right now and I think it would make the best beach day outfit.